Okay, so this has just landed on our workbench, uh, which is strange because we didn't actually order it. Um, it's a guitar kit. Um, I don't really work with guitar kits uh, that much anymore since I started making my own stuff. But uh, it's definitely addressed to me and was sent to me. Um, whoever did send it to me, if it's anybody out there watching, thank you. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the kit together with a little bit of a twist. So I'm just going to open up the box now and show you exactly what it is. We've opened up the box already because we were just checking to make sure nobody had sent anything they shouldn't. Uh, got our assembly instructions here. Um, there's a guitar lead, there's a vibrato arm and a few different allen keys. There's a set of strings that we'll be dumping straight into the bin. Uh, we've got a big bag of hardware, I can see pickups in here, the bridge and stuff. But just to show you uh, what's actually in here, we've got this body here. So a very, very rock kind of style body. And we've got a neck in here as well. And if you notice anything strange about the neck, there is no headstock. So, uh, looking at all the other parts, that's not a mistake. It is actually a headless guitar. Uh, so, just to show you, you got a tight neck joint anyway. It is some sort of headless uh, guitar. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put it together. Uh, but what we're going to do is, because I want it. Uh, we're going to convert it to left hand. So all these holes here, we're going to plug and fill. Uh, you might see what we'll do with the electronics, we might do something a bit different. Uh, we're going to plug uh, the control cavity here, and we'll re-drill it on this side. Uh, hopefully trying to avoid this belly carve here, so we might do a different style of control cavity. And we're just going to generally change everything over to, uh, to make it left handed. Um, doesn't look like it'll be too difficult. Um, on the neck, because it's right handed, we've got our uh, side dot markers here. So we might just put new ones on this side. Actually we might do some. Uh, the neck's not too bad. Uh, I was going to suggest maybe that we take the frets out and put some new inlays in, but we may leave it at that. We might just take out the dots and put in different coloured ones, or we might do glow in the dark or something like that, we'll see. Uh, body is ooh, it's okay uh, it's a very 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 soft wood I'm guessing it's probably basswood or something like that but literally you can dig your fingernail into this and it'll mark it so uh, because we're doing the lefty righty conversion um, uh, we're gonna have all these holes and stuff to fill so we might paint it a solid color or we might put a veneer over the front or something like that which could be quite cool so once we're finished there uh, yeah, we'll think about the finish actually. Uh, just going to take a look, uh, bring it in there and show you what hardware was inside. So this is the instruction book that came with it. Uh, very vague, uh, small black and white pictures, not even the exact uh, guitar either. And uh, some of the instructions are a little bit confusing, but uh, we should be okay to muddle our way through. So here's the hardware, um, we've got a vibrato arm, and we've got our output jack and our controls. Uh, these are the electronics, we've got these tiny little potentiometers and a true-way blade switch. Uh, we're not going to be using any of these. Uh, we might keep the three-way switch, but we're, sorry, it's a five-way switch. And we might swap that over for something different because I'm already thinking about doing something a little bit different with the electronics. And uh, we've got our back uh, cavity control plate, probably won't be using this because we're going to be going for a different size plate. Uh, screws and our neck bolts, that's a very nice uh, it's jet black The uh, neck plate there. So we might use that, although I don't really like neck plates, so we might just go for some recessed screws. Uh, this is our cap that goes on the top of the neck here, that holds the strings in. Um, it's okay, Every, all the parts feel slightly rough, kind of, they're just about okay at what they do. Um, here's where our strings uh, go through. So that's been sized uh, for a right-handed guitar, so you may have to open these holes up slightly, depending. Uh, here's our huge, big, chunky, chunky bridge. Uh, it's a bridge and vibrato unit in one. So uh, these are actually our tuners here. We turn these 
um, this part here moves backwards and forwards slightly so you must have to pull the string quite tight up the tension and this is just like a little fine tuner but I've got a overlord of music so from now on I want you all to call me that because it says it on my guitar uh, one of the great things that we noticed actually is the hole for uh, putting the vibrato arm there's actually one already on the left hand side so these are obviously just you know made to be used on left and right handed guitars just to be mass produced uh, we've got three pickups in here, got a humbucker style one and two single coil sized. Uh, again, let's see, you might do something a little bit with the electrics, you might just keep the black covers off these, we'll see. Um, there's those strings we are going to throw away. I actually thought these were going to be double ball end strings, but they're not, they're just plain ended, so they're just as useless as we thought they were going to be. So that's just a quick overview of the kit, and as I said we're going to convert this over to be left handed for uh, my use. So uh, immediately the first thing we're going to do is the body will take most of the work. So once the body's done then it's just really assembly. So we'll just crack on and we'll see how we get on.